Hello everyone. Today I would like to introduce you autocomplete in uh, Eclipse IDE. How you can activate autocomplete in Eclipse IDE for different type of files, for example Java, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, so on. We will start by Java. Just to understand autocomplete, how it's working in Eclipse. Autocomplete, it's working like this. For each specific file, there is a specific editor, so you need to edit the editor functions to autocomplete your code or suggestion for your code uh, in java by default it will activate autocomplete or trigger it just after the dot character for example if we use system dot now will activate autocomplete that's one way or second way system and control space will also activate autocomplete for you but this will not be so easy if you are working for uh, an a project or big project you want the IDU to help you or assist you for auto complete your code so it will be much easier for you so let's go in directly for Java we will check which kind of editor Java using it uh, by default we can you can use Windows preferences then you check where is Java language here Java and then down you, you search for editor what kind of editor and then you search for content assist you click on content assist and you search inside the content assist tab where is auto activation you can see that already enable auto activation uh, auto activation delay zero and auto activation triggers for java starting after period but we don't want it to be like this we want it to be auto activate after a specific for example type of strings that we would like or characters that we would like to use in auto activation trigger uh, in my case I have choose uh, all the English alphabet in a small case and an upper case also also I choose this kind that add hash uh, underscore uh, and dot add will be very useful especially for annotation but anyway let's copy all of them control C and then once more windows preferences and to check where is the editor by the way there is another easy way you can just right click right click inside the file that you want to edit uh, you want to locate its editor right click preferences now you are already inside java editor so drop down content assist and then you check and past all of them apply apply and the close now let's test it we will test it by simple method system.out is out like IntelliJ you can see now the magic happened and already the auto complete is triggering control and auto complete that's for example if you would like to check for int here already you have int and if you would like to see how it's working now auto complete is working and offering you several kind of classes or methods or depends on after what you are using the autocomplete for example add already annotation already offering and for underscore if there is something or if there is underscore so anyway now we already activated autocomplete in java control s to save it and run it at the java let's check exactly autocomplete okay that's the first part for java developer now you can complete your code very easy by this way okay if you are working in a web application that's mean you need to use javascript for example css html gsp or an another kind of file for each specific file if you remember we are we are using a specific editor so let's create a javascript file we will call it for example index.js finish now I have a javascript file but let's create a variable there is nothing there is no offer no autocomplete no trigger so the same way you can right click inside the file check preferences already it takes us directly to javascript editor there is nothing here so drop down it and we check content assist we check already it's deactivated so we need to activate auto activation enable auto activation is yes 
auto activation delay 300 millisecond we need it to be immediately and then we will pass our code or our letter that we would like the code to be activated after apply apply and close now let's check var voila already is activated let already is activated constant constructor already enter you have a constructor even class you have a class declaration already is activated so how it's so easy in eclipse now by this feature as autocomplete okay that was javascript now let's check for uh, html and gsp okay i would like to start using gsp i will file index.gsp java server page okay now by default html gsp will be auto activated after the tag less than tag for html that's by default so also body okay but what why we need to add more auto complete for uh, gsp or html for example that's because we would like if we would like to use inside gsp file some style code we, we, we would like to use auto complete for it so style ah yes how come but anyway we need to create header first so what i'm did okay head and inside head we will create a style tag where is autocomplete sometimes it's not as we want to be exactly style is back autocomplete and now let's check how it work body autocomplete it's not working anymore so it's frustrated so now it's time to activate it we'll check index.jsp what kind of editor is using it preferences and we will see the jsp editor yes here jsp source preferences are based on the content within the jsp so we have editor for html editor for xml so let's check editor for html and now we would like also where is editor content assist okay in this case it's better to use forgive me guys in this case it will be much better to find html under windows preferences and from web search for html files editor content assist you will find auto activation in the tab it's after 500 milliseconds let's make it zero and already is working after equal or less than time now we can add also our apply and close in this case let's see what's going on inside the style position voila it's working for example absolute it's working just background color is working gray green gray text it depends on your options now I have inside index JSP or HTML will be similar uh, situation but to be to, to check it index.html here control U control C okay so we are inside html we'll close gsp we don't need anymore and let's check for autocomplete now let's check color exactly it's working because anyway gsp is depends on html index because the syntax of gsp at the moment is, H, uh, is html syntax not xml okay save in case if you would like to use the syntax preferences no it's not from here anyway it's time now to add the same functionality for css file unfortunately that in css we don't have this option 
I don't know for what reason the CSS editor it doesn't have the same options if you check here CSS file editor content assets there is nothing at all so it's very frustrated but you still can use control plus space as autocomplete functionality for CSS file so we can demonstrate it very quick like this new file index.css finish and now we can do for example poly or something like this then pack control space so you have the same offering as before gr for example control space you have the same offering as before so unfortunately for css there is a, the only options at the moment for the default editor by the way is to do it like this using control space maybe there is another plugin for CSS especially but I I don't know it yet because I didn't use it in uh, okay what else in general any kind of file that you are using inside Eclipse is means there is a specific editor for that file inside Eclipse so please check from Windows preferences what kind of files that you are using for example JSON file I'm sure that JSON file will have the same editor content assist exactly auto activation but it's deactivated let's activate it and zero and we add our okay. sorry so it means that we need to use the same you know the same uh, where 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 exactly the same content assist string that we already created from here but json file is a bit different because you know json file syntax it's started curly braces or array and then you add the rest of your file apply by the way we need also to do the same for xml and so on and so on xml also you search for xml file you search for editor in under editor you find content assist and also you add your string and zero for delay apply apply and close so that was it for autocomplete for uh, eclipse ide for different kind of file it depends on what kind of file you are using please search in windows under windows preferences search what kind of file that you are using and then you will find the editor that it's fit for this file and check for content assist and add your sp uh, string as you would like to eclipse to offer you what kind of classes or methods after this uh, after this alphabet or after this character that you are already added it inside your auto activation trigger for whatever file you are using I hope it was useful and um, have a nice time, have a nice coding, goodbye everybody.